Kristen, you've got thousands of delegates, as Vaughn mentioned, heading to the RNC the next 24 hours. It's obviously going to be a massive security operation, and as, as someone had pointed out, it's going to be of an intense interest. Well, Lester, you're absolutely right about that. And look, security had been front and center prior to this shooting at the Trump rally in Pennsylvania. And so now, undoubtedly, they will reassess. Uh, we would not be surprised to learn that they will bolster security in various areas. But again, you are talking about thousands of people descending upon Milwaukee, not just Republicans, Democrats as well, to deliver the counterpoint to the speeches that we're all going to be tracking every night. And then, of course, the media, the journalists will be there. So this will be a city that will be bustling, that will be brimming. So undoubtedly, the security again, Lester, is going to just be critical. We have talked so much about perimeters this evening. We know that both the Republican National Convention as well as the Democratic National Convention, which gets underway in August, that the planners for those events have spent a lot of time focused on the perimeters, making sure that they are as strong, as secure as possible, that it is as difficult as possible to access the area where the speakers will be, where the delegates will be. And so, again, Lester, this is a moment for a reset, undoubtedly, uh, when those who are planning the Republican National Convention, the security detail for that event will take a step back and reassess everything that they have just planned. Lester, all of this comes as we're getting a statement from the Attorney General Merrick Garland about the shooting tonight. The first time we are hearing from him, he says, I have been briefed on the shooting at former President President Trump's rally and have briefed the president, the FBI, ATF, U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of Pennsylvania and the department's National Security Division are currently working with the Secret Service as well as state and local law enforcement partners on the ground in Butler, Pennsylvania. My heart is with the former president, those injured, and the family of the spectator killed in this horrific attack. We will not tolerate violence of any kind, and violence like this is an attack on our democracy. The Justice Department will bring every available resource to bear to this investigation. So there again, you have the attorney general echoing what we have heard from President Biden, from members of his cabinet, from the vice president, who has also put out a statement this evening to condemn the violence, condemning this violence in the strongest terms possible. We have, of course, Vaughn was just talking about the fact that this day started with uh, journalists, people who are interested in politics, wondering if this would be the day that former president. President Trump would announce his pick for the VP nomination. And of course, this was not the day. This turned into a very different day. But uh, all of those who are a part of that process have weighed in as well to condemn this violence in the strongest terms possible. And again, Lester, this is one of those moments uh, where, to some extent, for a brief moment, the politics gets put aside. President Biden halting his campaign ads. The Trump campaign went into a virtual lockdown uh, until former President Trump put that statement out. But again, everyone still responding and reacting to the horrific events that unfolded yeah, in Pennsylvania. Some things today. are bigger than politics and certainly uh, the life and death nature of what we have witnessed today. Um, our thoughts, obviously, with the family of the uh, deceased victim, the other two that are injured mm -hmm. uh, on this horrific day. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.